Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at using the motion blur, blur for creative effects, um, particularly around the construct of the glow, which you overlay a blurred image on top of an ordinary one. So let's start off with go to life filters here, go up to motion blur. Let's bring that over here, just look at it. And we will say so if we just pull the radius up, you can see the effect again, that kind of sideways blur. Edge effects get rid of with Preserve Alpha. And you can rotate it for different effects. Not very useful so far, but gets more interesting if you go down to the blend mode and look at the different blends. So let's start from the top, scan down. And unsurprisingly, when you get to screen, it gets, starts to look interesting. You're losing some of that sideways blur, but you can make that higher by typing in here and putting a bigger number, say 500. You can even go up to the maximum of 1024. Or 1000, which is pretty close anyway. Now this is sort of interesting. It's looking a bit like you're looking through some sort of glass thing. If I rotate it up here, that's even more so looking through glass. Yeah, you can see that effect. So we've got straight away, there is a useful method of doing apparent glass. And you can turn down the effect with opacity quite easily. Just wait for the thing to catch up. To whatever level you want. Here's another one very, very quickly. Let's turn that the other way. Now what we've got, the sun is coming in this direction, isn't it? See the light on the face there? So the sun's coming from up here. So we've got ourselves a sunlight, instant sun rays. And we can then do a paintbrush here. If we go to black and set hardness very soft, opacity 25%, that's about okay. And we can paint out the bits which we don't want. So the sun is not going to appear in here because it's the bit in the shade. So we can just paint out steadily those until it suits where we are. I can control Z to undo it or paint back in white. I think I am going to reduce that opacity a bit. So I'm going a bit more slowly in here. And I can also paint down areas like this if that's a bit too strong effect, I can just paint that out as well, reduce that distraction over there. So there again, we've got a filter to create sunlight, just in a couple of things. And then we can do other things with this as well. We can put in curves to change the, the uh, contrast effects and so on. But very quickly, you can see this is quite a useful kind of thing. Let's just do one more little uh, experiment. What if I take this blend mode off when I've got this here? I'll go back to my original there and get the paintbrush and paint white uh, all the way up so I can just restore this to what it was. And what you're starting to do is get effects here. Or I can take this and go to the black and start painting this back in here. And when it has time, oops, going to black. Here we go, and actually we'll do that lower down again. I can start to paint in the face again. See the faint face starts to appear through. So now I've got a very much a more abstract uh, image. I could use this for some sort of, you know, looking through a curtain. I can add bits here. Um, so you know, to add bits here, you can see the way that it would bring in, say, a bit of the hair there. And you could, say, put text up here on top of this and use it as some sort of poster or something. So there we go. Things that you can do with a motion blur. Bit creative and maybe quite interesting as well. So thank you very much for watching.